Hi guys, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, so welcome to another vlog. I got a little bit of everything in this vlog for you all. I am doing a Lulu summer dress haul. I mean, summer is here. The dresses need to be worn. We are outside. So yes, we're gonna start with a dress haul from Lulu. So special thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. I'm also going to finally do a dining room and kitchen tour of my Miami apartment here. You all know I recently moved to Miami. I still also have my New York apartment, but I recently moved to Miami in a quest for finding a place to invest in, a place to buy. And you all know that I recently bought a house here in Miami Beach. It is still being built and I won't move in for at least three months. But I'm also gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of my new house as well. So a lot going on. We got fashion, we got home decor, we got, let me show you guys my new house. So if you are interested in that, keep on watching. All right guys, so without further ado, we are going to start with the Lulu's summer dress haul and we'll just kick that off with my outfit of the day. So for my outfit of the day, I get asked a lot about this lip. This is the Fenty Unveil liquid lip stain. I love it, it's a very kind of chocolatey, kind of dusty brown. I mean, it works really well as a nude or a neutral, especially for summer. So I will link it down below. Definitely check out my link. These earrings, ugh, are they cute? I love like duster feather earrings like this. I think they just, they look so great, especially when your hair is pulled back, which y'all are gonna notice my hair is gonna be pulled back a lot this summer, especially here in Miami because the humidity is next level. My Afro, and my twist outs, they do not last. <laughs> Y'all, this humidity is just, it's real out here, it's real out here, but I'm not complaining. I love a little humidity. My hair just doesn't. I love these kinds of earrings. They look so amazing when your hair is pulled back. Again, these are from Lulu's, and Lulu's does have some really great earrings. You guys know I live for a statement earring. Super affordable and trending and just cute. So if you're in the market for some statement earrings that are really, like, look at these, these are amazing. And the price is good too. I will link a few of my favorites from Lulu's in addition to these down in the description box and you guys can check them out. Now, let's start with this dress. Uh, when I saw this on the Lulu's website, I put it in my cart so fast, you guys. First of all, I'm loving like those little baby doll dresses, very just easy, throw on and go, no fuss. You guys know it's very hot here in Miami and so I'm kind of stepping away from like anything that's really hugging and touching my body because it just gets too hot and then I have sweat stains everywhere. So these like very light, almost linen-like, super soft cotton-like, fabric dresses that I can just throw on and it kind of billows away from my body. That's what I'm feeling for this summer. So if you are like me, you're gonna love this haul because most of the dresses are very kind of flowy away from your body, but still showing off your figure. This is like a dusty pink beauty. I'm gonna get in close so you guys can see this fabric. Ugh. It feels like a very soft linen, it is very soft. And it does have a layer underneath, so it's not sheer, you're not gonna be flashing anyone. I love, this is th this area here, the bust, is what attracted me to this dress, I love it. I mean, it's showing a lot without showing too much, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a hot girl summer. Um, and I can tie it here in the back, comes with two strings, and then almost like this high cut, almost like an empire waist. And then there's also a string in the back that you can tie to make this tighter. I love this. It's the perfect length. By the way, I am five foot six inches tall. Everything I'm showing you today is an A size medium or A size six. Hits me at a great place on my legs. And I mean, it's so soft and cute and like perfect for summer. I can see myself at a brunch in this. Ugh, brunch, rooftops. Mm. God, I love summer. It's literally my favorite month. 
or my favorite season of the year. So I will link this dress down below. Hopefully it's still available. If not, y'all already know I'm gonna link similars from Lulu's down below in the description box for the shoe. I almost have to take the shoe off y'all because it is too good. You all know I'm loving platforms. I'm loving anything 70s. 70s are the wave right now. Every designer brand is going back to the 70s, specifically Gucci, YSL. Everyone is tapping into that 70s flair. Ugh, you guys. I can't stop buying platforms. I don't know why. These are so good, first of all. Get into the wood bottom, get into the height. I'm loving brown. Everybody needs a good brown neutral shoe for spring and summer. It's actually leather. And it has a nice little strap that goes around your ankle. You guys, these are so comfortable. It's like walking on a cloud. I love that platforms give you height without like giving you the headache of wearing a very tall like stiletto high heel. You can walk around all day in these. You're still gonna be tall, but you're not wibbling and you're not wobbling and like really working your calf muscles to the bone like you would with a stiletto heel. That would give you the same amount of height, but these are great. I love them. I think they come in a few colors. I think they come in this brown and maybe black. Hopefully they're still available. If so, you know where they will be. And if you don't, they will be linked down in the description box along with everything else I'm showing you in today's video. I went with my normal size. I'm normally a US size 10. I actually got a size 10 in these and they fit perfectly. Hurry up and get on them because I feel like they're gonna sell out. Everybody's making these platform shoes right now. Like I said, Tom Ford came out with the disco platform. YSL also has the Bianca platform. Oh, I'm so sad I missed out on the old school Biancas, but these really do it for me. These give me that same kind of 70s vibe. That's my outfit of the day. Let's get into the rest of the Lulu's haul, starting with another dress. So next up we have this dress, which is very similar to the dress I'm wearing. This is another halter top dress. Has two strings you can tie around your neck. Has kind of like a cinched in fabric here. Gotta love it. I'm loving the pattern on this. This blue, it's so good. I feel like this will go perfectly with my new Chanel bag, which is one of the reasons why I caught this one. Loving the tiered layers. As you can see, tiered layers on dresses are really trending right now. Everybody has the tiers in the dress. I even noticed it on the Target collection for Christopher John Rogers. that They have a lot of tiers in his dresses. So it's such a really nice extra, very ultra fem feminine detail for dresses. I also love the back of this dress, how it's pretty much out. There is a zipper down the back here, which is hidden, which is lovely. This is like the same kind of style of dress that I have on now. And again, just throw on easy and go. All you need is a pair of cute heels and a purse, maybe some white sunglasses and you are good to go. It's very like chic without trying so hard because a lot of times when you have a bottom and a top, it's like, oh, okay, well, what shoe am I gonna wear? Oh, okay, what? I mean, it's so much to think about. When you just have a, a dress, you just throw it on and that's it. As you can tell, I'm gonna be living in dresses this summer. So hopefully this one is still available. Again, I got this in my normal size, which is a size medium and it fits great. I feel like y'all are gonna love this next dress because it's a maxi goddess dress and we all need one of those for summer. This one is in a stunning, kind of like minty green color. Mint green is still popping. It's still one of the hottest colors of the season. What really sold me on this dress was not only the length, because I live for a floating maxi moment. I mean, you just feel like a goddess. But the material, uh, it's super soft. It's kind of like a satin material. It's not shiny though, it's a, like a matte which is great, I'm here for a matte on this brown skin, y'all. It's a vibe. But what really sold me on this dress was the bust. Like, oh, uh, it's giving me everything. It's giving me everything I need. There are so many ways to adjust this. I almost think you can wear this backwards as well, but the bust is stunning. It has a little string here across the middle that you can tie, so you, it doesn't matter really what bust size you have, you'll be able to adjust this dress to fit you. It has two little strings at the top, of the sleeves that you can adjust. And in the back, it has two long strings that you can crisscross and then bring back around the front, or you could just tie it in the back in a bow. The back is also out, but it has an elastic waist. 
so i really love dresses like this where they really think about the consumer they really think about the woman who's going to wear it because i mean if you have a small bust you can still tie this so that it really gives you a little oomph if you have a sizable bust you are able to adjust the straps in the top and in the back so that this fits you no matter like what size you your bust is so i love this dress it's super soft against the skin i think it looks amazing with these platform sandals so if you get this dress go ahead and get these platform sandals too because they are a match made in heaven this minty green with this kind of caramel brown in the shoe it works not to mention i mean we all just need a very goddess-like maxi dress for summer just think about those you know rooftop brunches picnics in the park these kind of dresses are perfect for that you could just throw them on and go and this is heavy this is like a substantial material it just feels great it feels like quality like it's not just gonna you know shrink after the first wash it is double lined so you don't have to worry about anything being see-through as well i feel like this comes in a few colors so just check the link down below last but certainly not least this is maybe maybe this might be my favorite thing in the haul but it is this two-piece set you guys know i live for a two-piece set very trending right now it is this green and this is more of like a lime green crop top kind of like a bandeau top you could tie this knot in a bunch of different ways it has those little poofy shoulders and then it has this stretchy material here i always forget what this kind of fabric is called but it has these little stretchy sleeves here and this is one of the detailings uh throughout the set it's almost like a linen material as well and the whole way around the back and the top is elastic which is great so you can wear this on the shoulder so you can show off that poofiness which is trending you can wear it off the shoulder i live for an off the shoulder moment y'all know i'm showing my neck and my clavicle off all summer 2021 it's happening it also has a matching maxi skirt which is beautiful this maxi skirt does have an elastic waist which is great I got the medium, but honestly, I probably could have gotten a small. So you could take that into consideration because there is quite a bit of stretch, not only in the waist, but also here in this area that will be around your hips, your waist, and your bum. And I mean, it's beautiful. Look at how it just floats out there at the bottom. Ugh. The way I, if you just walk in these and how the wind catches it, it's so stunning. It's beautiful. It gives me all of the just walking on the beach vibes uh and i also love this look with these platform sandals i wore all of these looks with these sandals because they're everything but uh, you can't beat a two-piece set and this one is really good quality i wish you guys could feel it like the quality is really really amazing so that is the fourth dress that i got from lulu's i will link this down below and you all can check it out in addition to the four dresses that i have shown you all today i have generously scoured the entire website and also linked a few more of my favorite dresses that i think you all would love for summer now i got one more thing from lulu's and y'all are gonna love it what is summer without a giant stun on them hat so i just made that up it's called a stunt on m hat you know the hat that i'm talking about the hat that when you drop it on the gram in a swimsuit or in a dress like you're getting a thousand likes like it's happening because the, the hat is just that dramatic and that good jacquemus really put huge hats on the map and lulu's is a place where you can go and get one for an amazing price i also love this little black ribbon across the top there but this hat is enormous um you should have seen the box it came in you guys it is huge it is pretty flexible so you can bend it it looks amazing on i mean wow can you see me on the beach in this in a swimsuit Ugh! if you are like going on vacation you're doing some picnics in the park and you need a huge stunt on them hat lulu's got you okay i'm gonna link this hat down below along with a few more hats from lulu's that i'm loving a lot of you did suggest in my six 
things that you need for your wardrobe this summer that you all thought I should have added a hat and you all are absolutely right. You do need a hat this summer, whether you're traveling, you're going to the beach, you're going to some picnics, you're gonna be out in the sun, you do need a hat and this one is everything. And the price is right for it too. I will link this down below and you guys can check it out. All right, everyone. So that is my Lulu's quick little summer dress haul and a few accessories sprinkled in there as well. Special thanks to Lulu's for sponsoring this portion of the video. And remember all of these things along with a few more of my favorites are linked down below in the description box. You all can check them out. Without further ado, I know you all have been waiting for this moment. And I'm not gonna be in this apartment too much longer, so I had to do it very, very soon. But we are gonna start with my kitchen tour. I'm gonna show you a few little things in my kitchen, a few knickknacks, and then we're gonna do the dining room tour, and then we will end with a little sneak peek of my brand new Miami Beach house that I bought last month. All right, guys, let's head to the kitchen. Come on, let's go. All right guys, so here we are in my kitchen and one of the things that sold me on this apartment was the fact that this kitchen actually has a gas stove. I love cooking with gas. I don't know what it is. I guess that's living in New York for 10 years. I've gotten very used, well actually more than 10 years, 12 years, 13 years, 15 years, I'm not sure. The whole time I've lived in New York, I've always had a gas stove, so I love a good gas range stove. And of course, I had to get one of my favorite our place pans for my apartment here i actually have two of these in my harlem apartment as well these are the best pans on the market okay you can do everything with these you can steam in these you can fry in these you can saute in these i also love that they come with this little thing here i don't know the proper name of it but you can use it for steaming like i get these really delicious dumplings from trader joe's they are cilantro and chicken dumplings. I can just put water in the bottom, put them here in this tray and then steam them. I highly recommend getting one of these. The aesthetics of them is just everything. They also come with these cool little wooden spatulas that fit right into this little hole there. The best pots, very aesthetically pleasing if you're into how things look and also the functionality of things. I would highly recommend getting an Our Place pan. I have put a link down below in the description box. You can check it out. They come in a ton of different colors like this kind of taupey nude. They have gray, they have black, they have a beautiful like peachy pink. I have one of those, they have lavender. I mean, so many cool colors that will go with anything or any colors that you have going on in the color scheme of your kitchen. Look how happy I got talking about a pot, y'all. I'm officially an adult. Everything else in here is really just really minimal. I didn't want a lot in my kitchen space. Also, I knew I wasn't gonna be here that long. I do have my trusty Nespresso machine that I love. This is the Nespresso Virtuo line. This is not the newest one. This is the one before the newest one. And honestly, I actually think I prefer this one better. It has a little water canister over on the side, but I use this every day to make myself a cup of coffee. Currently, my favorite flavors are the chocolate fudge, the hazelnut, which is called Hazelino, Malazio, which is a nice brew, and also like just basic vanilla because sometimes basic coffee is delicious. So if you all have been watching any of my vlogs, you all know I always start the day making myself a coffee, usually after I have worked out. So let me show you my favorite mugs. I got these porcelain mugs from Target. You can get them two for six bucks or one for three bucks. And I absolutely love them. They're from the brand Hearth and hand with magnolia. It's stoneware, it's dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and I have had to warm up my coffee a, a few times a day, on most days because I'm working, but uh, so aesthetically pleasing and beautiful. I will link these down below if you all are interested. One of the best things I got from Target. I love them so much. I bought like six of them and literally I live alone, but say la vie. Speaking of, dinnerware. I also got the matching bowls. 
so these are like a matte off-white which is just beautiful and they they aren't so uniform each of them is very unique they're all kind of like handmade and i just love that aesthetic this brand is the same from heart hearth and hand and i will link these as well i have a few of these bowls these plates i can't remember where i got these plates <laughs> i think i either got them from cb2 h&m i can't even remember so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to link it down below because i can't remember where i got them but they're very wide saucers again handmade they're like a matte off-white i don't like shiny plates i don't like shiny eatery i don't know why i just don't i think it makes it look cheap i like matte versions of things much better and i like how all of these are just kind of irregular it's not completely round it's just irregular and super cute and i feel like it matches a lot with my bowls and my mugs even though it's not the same brand and lastly i will show you these it's from the same brand as the plates but these are smaller saucers now that i think about it i'm pretty sure i did get these from cb2 but i love these little saucers just to put some crackers on it and some peanut butter and jelly and i make i dip my crackers into the peanut butter and jelly like it's one of my favorite snacks but again it's matte it's not shiny love that for me plus the white and the black go very well with my dining room theme as you all will see very soon i'm actually gonna make myself a coffee because i need one y'all so here's the little water canister on the side that i was telling you about i get so many questions about my nespresso machine all i can say is buy one if you're one of those people who spends five to ten dollars a day at starbucks you're gonna save yourself hundreds of dollars a year just by buying an espresso machine coffee of the day don't judge me and yes I use a lot of coffee made cream I'm never gonna change it never so another thing that I love that I got for my kitchen are these matte black spoons and eatery or cutlery again you guys know I'm just really into matte things and these did it for me I got these from Amazon they're lovely it's just matte black spoons and forks and butter knives that have made my life super simple and I feel like they also go very well with the aesthetic of my kitchen and my dining room here we have a few little glass vases that I got also from Amazon I just popped some of my wooden spatulas in one um, I think it looks really kind of chic and elegant, very almost kind of farmhouse style. I don't know where that style came from, but I like it. These vases, you can get at Amazon. They come in a bunch of different sizes. You can get really tall ones, really short ones. You can use them to hold things. You can use them for flowers and displaying things. Here I have some lavender in here. It smells amazing. I got this lavender from Primark. There's a Primark not too far away from me. This black vase here is new you might have seen this in a previous vlog but i got this from marshall's and i'm not sure if you all know but you can shop marshall's online now and their home decor section is the stuff of dreams i just really love the texture of this i love how it looks i needed something kind of black to offset this area because i have the white coffee machine here and then i have the black stove here and so this just kind of fit it's super cute again i just put some lavender in it i will link everything that i'm showing you in this video down below in the description box and you can check it out including some of my favorite pieces from marshall's oh i got this little cutting board here from home goods another thing that i kind of stumbled upon when moving here is method method the brand I am in love with everything that they create. Most of their things are plant-based like this method dish soap. 
this is the citrus grove plant-based with cutting grease powder this smells so good i have a dishwasher but i use this if i'm just gonna quickly hand wash something like my our place pan that's super easy to clean like i never have to put that in the dishwasher it cleans so quick and easy i just need a little bit of dish soap and it's good to go and in addition to the dish soap i also got some method hand wash you guys Ria Michelle, my good friend who also lives here in Miami, she put me on to this. I went to her house and I washed my hands and my hands smelled so amazing after. I was like, what is this? Like, I have to have this. This is the Method Sweet Water Naturally Derived Hand Wash. You gotta get the sweet water. Now this comes in a foam pump. I have one of those in my bathroom. And it also comes in the liquid pump, which I use here at the sink. But as you can see, it's almost gone. And I have a Rio <laughs> under the sink because it smells so divine. It leaves your hands so soft and they smell so amazing. You gotta get the sweet water scent. It is very light and crisp like, oh. I can't even explain it, it smells so good. But I will link both of these down below. These can be found at your local Target as well. But if you order from Target, it'll come in like a day. Like the shipping is amazing. All right guys, so that is pretty much it for my kitchen. Oh, since we're in here, I'm gonna show you what I got for Trader Joe's. These, if you go to Trader Joe's, get the chicken cilantro mini wontons. Oh, they are so delicious. First of all, I love cilantro. And these are so easy to cook in that Our Place pan, like with the little steamer. Oh, so good. And then all you need is a little soy sauce with reduced sodium, also from uh, Trader Joe's. It's a match made in heaven, y'all. Speaking of which, I always get these little cookies. <laughs> I know this is getting real off tangent, but go with it. I always get these little cookies from Trader Joe's to dip in my coffee. They are latte meals, slightly sweet milk and honey cookies from Trader Joe's. Screenshot it because it's so good. They do have milk in them. I'm not supposed to be <laughs> consuming milk. You all know I'm lactose intolerant, but the milk content in it it's a powdered milk and it's so minuscule that like it doesn't do anything i love dipping those into my coffee in the morning so if you shop at trader joe's check out those two things now let's go to the dining room all right guys so my dining room is actually my favorite room in this apartment because i feel like everything just tied in so nicely everything did what it was supposed to do. As you can see here, I, I love collecting vases and vases and vessels for flowers. Flowers are something that makes me happy and lilies, especially white lilies, are like my favorite flower at the moment. I always go to the market, usually every Monday or Tuesday, and I buy some lilies, I buy some tulips, and I put them in my vases that I have around my house. This one here is actually from CB2. It's one of their popular vases. If they still have them, I will link them down below. I also have a few pieces from Anissa Kermichi that I got from Farfetch. I have one of the busts and shoulders in black that I love to put lilies in because it always looks like hair is coming out of the neck, like it's stunning. It's, they're very pricey, the Anissa Kermichi vases, but they're stunningly beautiful and like, definitely conversation starters. I also have one of the booty vases. <laughs> I think it's actually called the Love Handles vase from Anissa Kermichi. I love putting my colorful flowers in that. Those come in a ton of different colors. They come in white, black, orange. I mean, every color you can imagine. So I will link a few of my favorite vases that I have throughout the space as well, not just the ones I'm focused on in the dining and kitchen tour. This little area here we will start with, I forgot what this is called. I just call it like an entry table, but there is another name for it that now I can't remember. But I got this table for these cupboards from Amazon and I wanted something that was a little gray, a little white, a little wood, because that's really the color scheme that's going on throughout my entire house. And I also love that it had these two little pockets here that I can put things in. Right now I have books stored in there. I have a little black wine rack 
here i have some extra coasters in case i need them i really love the design i love how they open and close that they are actually diagonal instead of straight and i also love the handles as well the handles are very easy to grip because they're flat handles and you can literally just pull one open with a finger they have two shelves inside i usually keep all kinds of things in there papers pr packages I have my internet in one of those as well. I keep my yoga mat in there and a few other things. On top, I have some candles. I have, I have some of these cookies that I was telling you about, you guys. They are so good. Mm. Woo. So I have some candles. I love sand and fog candles from Marshalls. They're literally like seven bucks and they smell amazing. My favorite scent is the crisp white. I also have these female form candles that I picked up from Nasty Gal. Yeah, Nasty Gal has home decor. It's pretty amazing. I'm pretty sure these have sold out, but you can also get these on Etsy in all different colors and all different sizes as well. I also have a huge architectural digest book here and when I want to change the vibe of the space literally I just flip the page I love that this book has given me so many ideas about creating different spaces in my apartments definitely a really good book to have if you're into interior design or you wanting to change your space and you need inspiration the architectural digest book is amazing I got mine from Amazon and I'll link it down below next up I have this black bowl this is from cb2 and i usually just put throw my keys in there when i come inside and i also keep a few masks in here as well just so i can grab one and go i have a little tray here also from cb2 it can hold different things right now i have some sage in there and that's pretty much this whole entire area i'm gonna get deeper into the books soon but i get so many questions about this mirror and I got it from Target. <laughs> it's just a round mirror from Target. I'm pretty sure it's the largest size that they have. And I centered it here because I wanted to be able to, from my room, see into the dining room. So from my room, I can look, or even from the kitchen, I can look and I can see into the living room. And it's the same thing from the living room I can look at the at the mirror and see into the kitchen. So as someone who lives alone and is a woman, that's one of the things I just have learned to do throughout my spaces, to put mirrors, to reflect the places that I can't see in my visual field. Worked out really well. I take a lot of outfit photos here. This mirror was very inexpensive and I love it. It's very chic and very elevated. I'm gonna have a seat here. I'm gonna show you guys a few of my favorite decor books that I have in this space and then we will get into the dining room table, picture frames and all that good stuff. All right guys, so I've had a seat here at my dining room table. We will get into that because that is highly requested. But I wanted to show you all some of my favorite decor books. I just kind of went into the Architectural Digest book. This is like a canvas covered book. So very aesthetically pleasing. So many good home decor ideas in this book and it's heavy y'all. I will most definitely link this book down below if you all are interested. Next up, I have the new Southern Style book. It is the interiors of a lifestyle and design movement and I'm a Southern girl. I am from North Carolina, but now that I have a home here in Florida, I'm looking for all of the Southern like inspo interior ideas that i can get and this book has so much i actually got this book from marshall's and it was on sale as well i'm pretty sure it was like less than 20 bucks and it's just a beautiful book as you can see the colors in it go very well with my home decor i do have a few kinfolk books and magazines throughout my space. I really just love the green <laughs> in this cover. All of the Kim Folk magazines are like a wax paper, very 
soft cover. The reason why I bring that up is because I'm a very tactile person. When I had my own magazine, I still have my magazine. I use this same paper for the cover just because I love how it feels. It almost feels like rubber, very soft. And Kim Folk is actually one of my favorite magazines. It's the only magazine I will read from front to back because they have so many amazing stories inside. They usually publish articles on everything from relationships, to being single, to cooking, to making your life more simple, to home decor and style and fashion. And I just really think that magazines aren't like this anymore. Magazines can sometimes be very superficial, but this magazine gets deep, okay? Like this, this particular one is called Movement. It features stories about skaters, about ball games, about any kind of thing with movement. And also <laughs> it has a feature about bad friends in here. And also on standing up for love and loneliness. They have interviews. I mean, if you're looking for something of substance, Kim Folk, definitely get yourself a subscription. You won't regret it. In addition to having a magazine that comes out I think it's quarterly. I think every four months it comes out. They also have these books, these lifestyle books. This one is the Kinfolk Table Book. In here is a ton, and I mean a ton. Look how thick this book is. A ton of recipes, you guys. Like recipes, stories about cooks. Look, pumpkin bread with maple cinnamon glaze and nuts. I'm here for it. I need a chef's kitchen just so I can make this. If you're into cooking, this is a wonderful book to have. It'll give you a few tips. Like Kim Folk is all about lifestyle. So in addition to that, I also have the Kim Folk garden book. I plan to have a garden <laughs> in my new house. I do have outdoor space and so I've just been looking into gardening and having a small garden and things that I can grow. I would love to have some herbs that I can grow, salad that I can grow, a few small vegetables that I can like literally just go in my yard or go into my garden and pick them. So this is another good one. I also have the Kim Folk Entrepreneur Book, which is great for entrepreneurs. If you need a kick in the teeth or a kick in the butt about starting your business, about leveling up your business, there's so many stories in that book that will just light a fire under you and inspire you and also give you ideas of how to just move better as an entrepreneur and as a business person. So I will link all of these Kim Folk, Folk books down below and you can check them out. You can get these at Target, you can get these at Amazon, a bunch of different places. They also have their own website. So a few of you have asked about my little wine rack and a few of you thought that this was like built into this console table, but it's not. I bought this separate from Amazon. Right now I'm out of wine. <laughs> You guys, ever since I moved to Miami, I drink, I drink so much more, like every day. Don't worry, I have it under control. This was just thin enough for me to slide right in. I measured it before I bought it. So if you're in the market for a flat wine rack, I will link this one. And then I just slide it right in. So that's everything to do with the console, foyer, entryway table. Now we're going to get into the dining area. All right guys, so I get so many questions about my dining room table. This is a round cement coated table and a beautiful matte white. It's very easy to clean, but I have heard that it stains from other people who bought this. So I wouldn't sit anything that would stain <laughs> on top of it. Luckily I am single, I don't have any children and I live alone so I can take excellent care of it but just keep that in mind if you have children or small children or pets or things like that that this supposedly stains pretty easily but I love the color I love that matte white it is everything it has a kind of like long round base it is very heavy it is hundreds of pounds I wasn't actually here when they delivered it <laughs> I was off doing something but uh, from what I could tell it took them a while to get it up my steps and into my apartment. But I absolutely love it. It is stunning. It's very wide, it's beautiful. It fit perfectly in this little nook that I have here for a dining room. I got this from 
I want to say CB2, but it could be Crate and Barrel. I never quite remember, but I will link it down below. It's pretty pricey. It came up to, with shipping and tax, it was about $1,000. But it's worth every penny because it's gorgeous. This table is definitely coming with me to my new house here in Miami Beach when I move in. Now, on top of the table, I have these stunning placemats that I got from, oh, the name of that place oh why can't i think of the name okay i can't for the life of me remember the name of the place where i got these but i'll link these down below i just love that natural look i felt like it went really well with the chairs and also with my white jute rug in my living room I just wanted like natural fibers and natural things. I wanted it to feel very cozy, very lived in, very beachy, very airy, very in tune with nature. So I really like the placemats. I don't feel like a, a table mat or a runner would work with this kind of round table. I wanted it to be very minimalist and I absolutely love these. I only have two chairs, cause it's just me y'all. But I love that when once I move and I have more space, I can just add chairs. I'll probably get two more of these chairs and I already have extra placemats. This table easily can sit four to six. Um, it's a very wide table. Speaking of these chairs, you probably seen these chairs everywhere. They're amazing. I absolutely love them. Um, they are visually stunning. Maybe not the most comfortable chairs, but I actually don't use them that often. I got these from, I can't remember, it was an online website, but they also have these at Target. A lot of you notified me that the ones at Target don't actually have the armrest but they look exactly the same. If I can find the ones with the armrests, I will link them down below. Usually they come in a set. Like I bought both of these together for about $300, which was great because I, on some websites I see that you can get this chair by itself for $300 and I'm like, ah, that's a lot. But if I can find the ones with armrests, I will link them down below. I will also link the ones without armrests that I'm pretty sure you can find at Target. They come in a few different colors. I feel like they come in three colors. They come in this black and natural. They come in a brown and natural and they come in a white and natural. My review of these chairs is that I love them. I haven't found any problems with them. The wood part here can sometimes be a little itchy, but after a while, if you sit in a chair long enough, it'll soften up. Overall, I just love these chairs. I think they work beautifully with this off-white table. And I also paired it with a faux cowhide rug that I got from Wayfair. I have this same rug in my Harlem apartment, in my bedroom, and in my dining room in Harlem. Um, and I like this one. It's off-white with very kind of light tan specks throughout and i just feel like with the white and the tan that i have going on with the table that the rug just really worked and it was pretty affordable as well definitely less than about 80 bucks from wayfair came super quick as well which was great um, because when i moved in you all know i didn't have anything in here now for the vases and the vessels y'all know i live these coasters where did I get these coasters? I think I got these coasters from Amazon. They're just black slate. They look amazing. They stain like crazy. These are not going to the new house. I just hate the way they stain. I love the way they look. Very rustic, but they do stain quite bad. So this vase here was another buy from, I believe H&M Home. Yes, I got this from H&M Home. Just a beautiful kind of, nudie, taupey, natural colored vase that shaped really cool. I always put tulips in this vase because I feel like they just look so cool in there. Luckily the tulips already come like together and like don't these tulips look fake? They look fake. Every time I show them on like my Insta stories, people are like, are those real? Or right? even when <laughs> I have friends come over, like when my photographer comes over, she's like, are those real? And I'm like, yeah, aren't they stunning? I always get my tulips from Trader Joe's. I think these were six bucks for the whole bunch and they're absolutely breathtaking. So that's this vase. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. I have a few little candles here in different heights that I got from Amazon. I just like the color of these. They're like 
almost a uh, very like pale gray. I just thought that they worked well with the color scheme I have going on. Again, I have another female form candle from Nasty Gal. And then I also have this candelabra. Is, is that what it's called? A candle holder from CB2. And I just love that stark white, but that it's not perfect. I love that these things are imperfect. And then the candles also came from CB2. I'm not gonna light these until I move into my new place. So for now they live here on the table. Back here, I get tons of questions about these picture frames. There's actually nothing in the picture frames yet. I haven't even lived here long enough to put pictures in the frames. I'm probably not gonna put anything in those frames. I'm just gonna take the frames over to my new place and then eventually I'll put some pictures in it. But these are also from H&M Home. I had a task rabbit come over and like use the light leveler to put them up perfectly because that's something I can't do. I can't eyeball it and I'm very type A so if I would have messed that up, it would have really bothered me. <laughs> It would have bothered my spirit. I also had him put this mirror up to make sure it was level and centered because it would have bothered me so bad. I recommend if you're hanging up stuff, just get a task rabbit. A task rabbit is an app that you can use to hire someone to come and build things for you, paint things for you, any kind of home knickknacks, things you need done. I'm really glad that he did that because they are so perfect. It just gives me immense pleasure, pleasure to see how level everything is. Kind of sad that I never put any pictures in there. Oh snap, I almost forgot to show you all a little sneak peek of my new house. It is a multi-level townhouse. I do have outdoor space. I'm gonna have an outdoor garden area. I'm also going to have a balcony. I know a few of you asked, oh, are you gonna have a balcony in your new space? And the answer is yes. I'm gonna have space for an office, which I'm very, very happy about. I didn't have that here in my Miami apartment. Everything is still being built currently. I am kind of looking into finishes, what my backsplash is gonna be, how my sink is gonna look, how my cabinets are gonna be. So I'm very, very happy with that process. And of course, I am documenting all of it for you guys. There will be a, I just bought a house video, kind of going through the process of getting a mortgage, of all of the things, y'all, because it's so much, <laughs> so many things I didn't know about buying a house but I'm very happy that I will be moving in hopefully in the next three months and by then there will be a full video doing an empty house tour for you all thank you for all the well wishes on buying my first property and I say my first property because I plan on owning multiple properties yes <laughs> all right you guys so that is pretty much it that's everything. That is my kitchen and a dining room tour. I have literally linked every single thing down below in the description box for you guys. You can check them out. If you missed my living room tour, I went with whites, I went with beiges, I went with natural colors and a little bit of gray and black and the accessories, but I already did a full living room tour linking everything in the living room. So I will link that video down below. It's also a vlog. You can watch that next if you want more details on where to buy things that you've seen in my living room area. And I will be doing a bedroom tour soon. So stay tuned for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Special shout out to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, it's summertime and I, I have literally linked so many amazing dresses, accessories, and bits from Lulu's in the description box. You guys can check those out as well. I'm gonna enjoy my second cup of coffee and I'm gonna see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys.